It has been two weeks since the implementation of the controversial electronic transfer levy, largely referred to as e-levy. Some mobile money operators in Kumasi say due to limited education on how the levy operates, their businesses have to some extent been affected negatively. They thus believe that once the public is adequately sensitized on it, they may be enjoying more from it than they used to. For now, it has affected the business in some way. All is because the education has not gone enough for the public to get the uh, understanding uh, on the e-levy. But as time goes on, as the public uh, get to know and get to understand how it is, I know they can uh, simply uh, come for, the for their normal transactions. If uh, the public get to uh, get to understand uh, how the e-levy is going to work or how it is going to be uh, working now, I know automatically we the agents it will not affect us, and somehow uh, it will even uh, improve our business. And I, I can also say, if the education goes well, I know automatically we will be even enjoy on the e-levy um, honestly after the edge money there but na come me dey come me idea na say ka ye ye fa e-levy no me education about the e-levy am am my education into no obi e so say obi send this car but merchants en ka ho so we are pleading say they should come and send the money during the first few days of the implementation Many people complained about a number of challenges. The Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, however, says the numerous concerns that were raised at the initial stages are being addressed. Speaking to the media in Kumasi, the Chief Executive Officer for the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunications, Kenneth Akshibe, admitted that although there were quite a number of wrongful charges, he believes the e-levy has been effectively implemented as most of the wrongful charges have been reversed. So generally, you know, like for any big project of what we did, and uh, I can tell you that the E-Levy project was a massive project. You're talking about, uh, uh, about over 300 charging entities that had to all go live on a, on a particular date. So I think generally what we saw on the 1st of May uh, for a project uh, was a successful launch. But there were some... Uh, thieving challenges that came. Unfortunately, by this time, most of the uh, wrong charges, you know, have been sorted out. We noticed that when we went live, uh, charges like uh, uh, those who were buying um, uh, airtime were being charged. That has been fixed. There were a few people who were uh, the um, were being overcharged. That has been fixed. He, however, noted that some transactions that were exempted from the e-levy can only take effects from july due to certain challenges that are being resolved the only challenge that currently persists and that one we knew was going to happen you know that initially we're going to the government had asked that we're going to go with a common platform which meant that when you are sending money from etl tigo money you're sending money from uh, vodafone cash or mtn to another network you would have to call the common platform the common platform would then find out from that particular network to find out who it that belongs to so that if it was for Kenneth Ashibe and I'm sending the money from my one of my EMI's accounts to another EMI account then it will be able to tell that it's me so that I would not be charged but currently because we are doing the modified phased approach that is not happening so till july where we are supposed to connect to the common platform that would persist so because of that those ones the commissioner general has given us modalities by which we, can, we are able to reverse uh, those particular so that that persists up to uh um would persist up to july city news checks at some mobile money joints within kumasi show that a number of subscribers who are beginning to understand how e-levy works are going on with their mobile money transactions with respect to dealing with merchants for c news i am fatty amin ibrahim